What's up guys, it's your boy Gus back in with another video. As promised last time, today I'm going to be watching the first two episodes of Hell of Boss of the first season. Now for this video I'm going to be recording it like this because the last time, because my, I don't know why my computer just does this for OBS, I record a video with a full screen YouTube video. I just bugs out and then I had to restart my computer because I don't like to do. But yeah. Anyways, I'm not trying to be a bit different, but I try to talk a bit throughout the video and not just pause it. But, anyways, yeah, so this might be a bit longer because of the two episodes, but I feel like this should be fun though because I do want to watch Hello Boss. And I might have to watch Hello Boss all the way through. Might either watch the Hasbro Spill Tales thing if I can find out how to watch it or if there's something else you guys want me to watch let me know anyways let's start I have illustrations about all this stuff basically if you're under 18 please don't watch this this is not for you at all anyways Let's go. I was a good person before it all went down. I was good my entire life. Good morning! I hope you all did your homework. We love to do our homework, and we love our teacher too. Then when I throw out these fun questions, you should know just what to do. Okay. Two plus six is eight. the rules and still get sent down here with all the Hitlers and Epsteins of the world after one measly massacre propelled by blind rage. So that's why I'm here. To get my revenge. I mean, why is she hotter? I'm just saying, I had a hard time understanding the unprompted melodrama. Alright, this is pretty cool. <laughs> they start off both. Again, sorry, I'm gonna pause. I, just, I don't want to talk over stuff, which is the problem. It's really cool so far because it started off with like being all cheerful and happy, and it immediately just goes straight to being dark. Just to show how this show is. This is great. You just spat at me, tits. Anyway, I don't think you quite understand how we're operating down here. See, we take revenge out on the living, and it sounds like the core cast of your sitcom of the death, frankly, are all probably down here in hell with you. Not all of them. Mm. That whore survived. Now they all call her a hero. How does it feel to have survived such a crazy bitch? I just hope that sick woman finally found peace. You are so brave. Here's two million dollars. Oh, thank you. Between the talk shows and donation bullshit, she made so much goddamn cash. Getting shot was the best thing to happen to her. You're a hero. You're a hero, girl. My mama's a hero. She is a hero. <laughs> You're a hero! You're a hero! You're a hero! Oh, oh, 
Oh, you're a hero! She is not a hero! Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> Moxie, stop shaking! You're gonna shoot our only hail hand. Wow, I feel so loved here. Just take a deep breath and let it out. But it's a family. Under what circumstances would we ever need to kill a human family? I mean, if that's what the client wants. Maybe like a shitty dad or a mob family. That's understandable. But to eradicate an entire innocent, seemingly in this instance, upper middle class family bloodline? Hey, you don't know they're innocent. This kid probably sets dogs on fire. Maybe this girl gets off to bullying Australian kids online, and this guy, this guy definitely watches. Exactly. Humans are full of secret nasties. It's why so many of them end up here. But guilty and innocent aren't our business, Mox. Killing who we're paid to is our business. Shoot the target. I just think it's a bit excessive, and we could be a bit more selective, is all. Yes, I want you to meet you! <laughs> Our newest client! Damn it, Moxie! I just bought those eels! Bye, and don't worry, we'll get that skank in less than 24 hours, or your first kill is free! When did we start implementing that deal? When you set fire to my office in front of a client, you fucking dick shit! Now someone please tell me that fancy book is still intact! You mean, our only ticket to the other side? Yeah, got it. And that's why you're my favorite, loony. <laughs> Okay, if this is chaotic, it is pretty chaotic. One of the things that feels like very different is how they acted in the violet, which is, I don't remember these heroes names. Not this guy, but the other guy's his wife. She talks differently, I don't know why. Anyways, let's continue. You get a tweet now. Ew, stop Ew. that. Oh, you're so Ew. gross. Aw, oh, stop it. I got enough of that for my therapist. Now let's go lick some ass. The expression is kick some ass. Blitz. Mine's better. Oh, fuck. That's gotta be her. <laughs> this is too easy. Moxie, do you want this one? Me? Yeah, this one's simple enough for you to handle. It's just a happy mother who just got out of the hospital. Snooze you lose, Mox. And I got you, bitch. Are we actually killing a family? No, don't be a puss. We're just killing a mother. We're ruining a family. But, hold, hold on, hold on. Let's just think about this. <laughs> what was that, Ralphie? I don't know, Martha. But whatever it is, there's gonna be a tomorrow night's dinner. All right, kids. Guns out! Looks like we got some rabbits to catch, youngins. <laughs> what the fuck was that, Moxie? I'm sorry. They just seem so wholesome and happy. I panicked. Oh, who the fuck is innocent, Moxie? From the moment of birth, you're already a parasite leeching off your mama's kids. Get the fuck over yourself, you baby dick. A new hole! Scatter!
these these people are not good at their jobs at all. They're supposed to be professionals and killing people in the from the real world. And they clearly can't do that. Just come wet mama Martha, put a bullet in your pretty little scowl. Oh, this is a really bad time. Mm. When isn't it a bad time, Blitzy? What is it? I've been meaning to follow up on our last little conversation regarding my grimoire. What did you just call me? My book, Blitzy. The book I was given to do my job that I have allowed you to use to do yours. I can hear you, darling! Shit! Anywho, I have been thinking. You know, I have been permitting you to access the mortal realm less than legally for some time now, but I do need it back to fulfill my duties. I was thinking, what if we worked out some kind of exchange? Favors for favors. Doesn't that sound enticing? Using your fancy ass rich people talk, okay? I'm trying to concentrate on not getting fucked in my A! Then let me keep it simple. Once a month, on the full moon, you return the book to me, followed by a night of passionate fornication. And you get to keep it all the rest of the time, hmm? Sound fair, my little imp? Fine, whatever! Oh, Blitz, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to feel your slimy inside of my Gotcha! So you're a little devil, huh? Come to drag me and my kin to hell. Well, not today, Satan! Gonna send y'all back where you came from! Billy! Fine, but hurry up. Luna, we're ready to come home, dear. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. The voice is still there, just talking. <laughs> Don't move. What are you gonna do, little guy? Kill us? I should. You people are monsters. But you should have a chance at a life and a purpose. Look at your children. They have their whole future ahead of them. You are going to face your crimes justly. I will call your earthly authorities, and they will make sure you are dealt with fairly. I'm handling this my way. Oh, shit. Uh, what is this for? It's a universal remote. Got it for the kids. Ah. Look, I don't care where you... There he is. Have to do your job on time. All right, see you at the office. You do it. You have a good... Got him, boys. We got him, boy. See my little monster. <laughs> I heard you see my little monster. Oh, yeah. Well, here's to another mission accomplished, and 
Moxie finally learned not to fuck up. And killing people isn't that big a deal if they try to kill you back. That's messed up. But I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that family. Well, that was an interesting first episode. I actually like Moxie's like little character development in this, this episode. It's actually pretty great. <laughs> it's so funny that Brandon watches and just in this show as one of the main characters. It's funny. Anyways, and uh, next episode. Uh, uh yep, advertise we gotta get sick. No way. Next up called a so called Lulu Land. I'm not sure, but I know a few of what the characters I, I can expect to see this show because I've seen a bunch of clips of goddamn elements. But what I can feel like is this show is going to be very adult themed, which I'm fine about, but still, and it's also the same one. Anyways, let's start episode 2 of season 1 Lululand. Calling us, Stella. Uh, here you get up. <sighs> Thea, what troubles you, my owlet? Daddy! Daddy! I had a dream! A really bad dream! <sighs> a nightmare. I was looking all over the palace and I couldn't find you anywhere! You weren't there! There, there, Thea, it's okay. You're okay. When you're scared, and you don't know where I am, you must remember, no matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from my special little starfire. It always seems more quiet in the dark. It always feels so stark. How silence grows under. As the stars start to align, I hope you take it as a sign that you'll be okay. Everything will be okay. And if the seven So it shows a flashback to a discord of some little girl. That's almost actually pretty nice. I still don't know when we would know who these characters are called. And now this character is like a teenager, obviously. Interesting so far. Uh, it Goddamn embarrassment! I'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic, imp-sucking face! <sighs> Good morning, Octave! 
Olivia, did you sleep well, my owlet? Is that a serious question? Mm -hmm. What's that you're listening to? It's Sorry, I forgot to turn it's off this in Discord, please. It's by Fuck You, Dad. It's a band. Oh, how charming. So are you two done screaming for the day? <laughs> You know what I haven't done in a long, long time? I haven't taken you to your favorite place in all of hell. Why don't we go to Lululand? I'm not five anymore. You always were so happy when I took you to Lululand. What do you say we go there again? Have a day, just the two of us. I'd rather kill myself. There we go. Anything but staying in this house. Now. I'll arrange our security. Security for a theme park? We are rich and we're hot. People want our money and our bodies. Oh, money maybe. Speak for yourself, princess. Ah, I'm calling the only man who can f me. What? Who can protect me? Us. <laughs> Being part of the Bermuda <laughs> family is rather valuable. Bermuda? That's a name, okay? What the fuck? Dad! Language, everyone. I have a special request. Ah, oh, look, I just had a chemical peel, so you'll have to find someone else's face to plant that feathered ass. It's for my daughter. Ah, well, make sure she washes it. No, 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 no. I'm taking my daughter to Lululand, and I was hoping you brave little imps would accompany us. We're assassins, not bodyguards, okay? Don't invite us to shit unless someone's gonna die. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Money. Done! Eminem, get in here! We're going to Lulu Land! Lulu Land? Lulu Land! Lulu Land! This is work and work only. Me and my crew are not here to satisfy your perverted bird needs, all right? Hey, Dad, do we have to? Okay, uh, hold on right there, sweetie. If you try fucking my little ass in that park, I swear to you, I'm so cute when you are serious. I'm literally gonna be sick. Oh, crumbs, I knew today would be a lot. What do you need? Antiacids, ibuprofen, morphine? That was figurative, old man. Oh, right. <laughs> but she said it was literal. What? It hasn't changed a bit. Oh, look! It's big, lovely. That is deeply upsetting. Oh, come on. It's fun. You've never been here? No. The theme parks always disturb me, especially the mascots. Well, hey there. Ah, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lululand. If y'all get hurt here, just try and sue us. No, it's Lulu. I have a question. Well, ask away, little girly. <laughs> is it true this park is just a really shameless spin-off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu world? No. This place reeks of insecure corporate shame. <laughs> Why don't we go check out the rides? That chick's creepy, huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to diddle your holes. What's that mean? Don't talk to me. I know you're a pervert under there. Yeah. You really like this place, huh? I love this place! My parents would bring me and my siblings here when they could swing it, money-wise. Yeah, the prices do seem rather criminal. I mean, that much for a novelty cup that you use one time? Cause it's Lulu Land! Listen to your hoe, Mox. In the habit, I take the first watch while you two have a little fun. Oh! We gotta do my favorite ride! Oh yeah? Which, which one? Does that say the lawsuit? <laughs> oh, okay, then. Fun. You know, 
it's quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch, I'm working. You both need to get a room. Hey, I am not a day hooker. What, I just said I'm not one, prude. <gasps> oh, look, Theo! You used to cry such tears of joy at this show. Oh, no. I thought that was Vince. That's the same as that's the same ability as the goddamn. Uh, 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 what about the song called Blood Charlie song in the Hesper's Hill Pine? The same got the instrumental. Ability. Cool. Hello, hello. Step right up and win a thing. <gasps> oh, look, Moxie! A thing! Oh, you like that thing? Yes! I don't really know what that thing is, but I want that thing! <sighs> Finally, some thing I can handle. Okay, one game, please. Strike one, little man. But I hit it. Mm, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. The target, see? It didn't go down. So yeah, no go, bro. <sighs> uh, the heaven's wrong with this thing. Oh man, a real shame, I tell you. <clears throat> Another! I sing along with the Lulu Band, everybody. Oh, my, what good aim you have, Blitzy. Oh, I can't do this anymore. Octavia. <laughs> oh, is that lit so my sensor spot a bear? I guess the kitties are still running away from you. Huh? <laughs> oh, it's silent now. Uh, just like your audience always was when you told, told your lazy jokes here. <laughs> Bitch, I make more money killing people than you do being a cheap ass robo ripoff of an overrated sellout jester! <laughs> Someone's salty. Real or not, though, people love me. Does anybody love you? No, but I'm really good with guns now. Dance, bitch! <laughs> Why were you even born? 
Octavia! Leave me alone! Octavia! Um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now! Oh, that's better. Where is Blitzy? He's my knight in shining armor, not you littler ones. He's a... Biff and being a fool. What kind of fool? The everything is now on fire kind. Octavia. I take it you are not having fun. I didn't even want to come in here. I'm sorry, sweetie. I thought you loved it here. When I was a kid and my parents didn't hate each other. My dad didn't flirt with a weird red dickhead the entire time. I'm sorry, Fia. I'm sorry for everything happening. I know it's a lot. I, I should have listened. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. You ruined it. Sorry about that. My mom just swamped in. Anyways. You need to understand. Your mother and I, I just, I felt she's always been, I haven't been, ha, we weren't in, I'm sorry, I, I don't have the words. Are you going to run off with him and leave me behind? Go away where I can't find you? What? No, 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 never. <laughs> I'd never do that. Never. I think it's time to leave this place. You were right. You are too old for it anyway. <laughs> so, what would you like to do now? Oh, can we go to Stylish Colds? They sell weird taxidermy there. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're okay sometimes. Thank you, Via. Thank you. Ah! Way to ruin another good thing, sir. Worth it. That slutty toy clown had it coming. <laughs> Again. Pretty fun. You get chaotic as hell, but it's a durable chaotic. You don't have to else much to say, but if you like, I'm just gonna end it off here. So far, I'm enjoying this show. And I still need to figure out all the characters' names. I keep forgetting them. The one of them is called Moss, and, and that's Anduma, the Wolf, and that's Airhawk Red. <laughs> I wish we get to see more of Luna during these episodes, not much of her. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, please be sure like and subscribe for me. You can always have to subscribe later if you don't like my content, you don't like me as a person, that's completely fine. If there's anything else you guys want me to watch, or do play, or anything in the rest of what you do, so you to, to, to leave a comment about what you want me to do. But anyways, remember, you matter in soul. There's always someone who loves and cares about you. It's never worth it. Anyways, see you later, Bucket Army.